Okay, so now we come to our other example that we've been playing with. Again, we're going to try to compute these tangential and normal components uh, for the acceleration. So, let's recap. R prime of t, we have 2t minus 1, 2t plus 1, okay? So the unit tangent vector, we had 1 over the square root of 8, t squared plus 1 times 2t minus 1, 2t plus 1, in case we need it. Um, the tangential component, right, so the tangential component is just the derivative of the magnitude of r prime. Um, you know, if you want, by the way, um, r prime is, of course, just the, the velocity, so we can, we can do that. Um, so, and there's that magnitude right there, right? So it's the, it's the derivative of 8t squared plus 2 to the 1 half, and so that's going to give me, well, we're going to have 16t squared half on the, we're going to get, sorry, 16t, so it's going to be 8t over the square root of uh, 8t squared plus 2, once you simplify, okay? All right, so there's the tangential component. Now we want to get to the normal component, and there's a bit of work, okay? I mean, depending on how you want to do it. Now, we have this result here, fine, um, but to, to kind of use this result for the normal component, we need the magnitude of t prime, which means we need to compute t prime. And we did that finding the normal vector, and we found that it was kind of a pain in the butt to do it, right? Um, so how do we save ourselves some trouble? Well, here's the thing. Um, this, is, this is kind of a... Um, this is kind of, it's, it's a linear algebra result. This is a sort of generalization of the Pythagorean theorem that takes place when you have what we might refer to as an orthonormal basis, okay? When you're writing a vector in terms of two unit vectors that are orthogonal to each other, right? Uh, what we can do is we notice, hey, the, the magnitude of the acceleration, right? The magnitude of the acceleration is well, it's the square root of the acceleration dotted with itself, right? But think about what happens when you take A dotted with A, right? Um, you're going to get, uh, you know, so, so what you're going to get is, let's put it over here. So we have, you have sort of A sub T times T plus a sub n. You can probably already see what's going to happen, but let's do it anyway, right? And we dot that with itself. Okay. And so the first one we're going to get, uh, well, we get a t squared, the tangential component squared, right? Um, t dot t, but t dot t is 1, right, because it's a unit vector. Um, then we're going to get tangential component times normal component, but then t dot n, they are orthogonal, so that dot product is 0. Then we'd get this dot product, which is again 0, because t and n are orthogonal. And then we're going to get the dot product here, which is just a n of t times a n of t, and then n dot n, but again, n dot n is 1 because n is a normal vector. Um, so we get, we get this really nice Pythagorean relationship, right? So the magnitude of the acceleration squared is the tangential component squared plus the normal component squared. And that only works because these two vectors are unit vectors and they're orthogonal, okay? So, so Basically, what we can do, and, and you know, let's um, let's get rid of the square root. Okay, so the magnitude squared is the tangential part squared plus the normal part squared. 
Okay? Now, why is that useful? That's useful because T prime is difficult to compute, but acceleration, which is R double prime, R double prime is not that hard, right? Um, R double prime of T is just 2. 2. Yeah. Okay? Um, so, so now what we can do is we'll, so then the magnitude of, and this is, that's the acceleration, right? So we get, the magnitude is going to be 2 squared plus 2 squared. We get 8 under the square root, but squaring. So 8 is equal to the tangential component squared, which is sitting right here, 64t squared over 8t squared plus 2. Um, plus that normal component, which is the thing that we want, right? Um, and so the normal component squared is going to be um, it's 8 minus that. So we're going to end, we get the common denominator, 64t squared plus 16 minus 64t squared all over 8t squared plus 2. So, of course, those cancel. And if we take the square root, we're going to get that the normal component is 16 over the square root of 8t squared plus 2. That's less work than, uh, than going to the trouble of calculating t prime and calculating the magnitude of t prime, right? Um, it's better. Um, okay, uh, I guess there, there's always, okay, there's the sign ambiguity, should it be plus or minus? Um, but um, one way that you can, you can always check, I mean, if you have the normal vector, you can try fitting things back together and, and confirm that it works. Um, but uh, um, you can play around with like right hand rule, things like that. But um, we'll take the positive square root, does the job, okay? So. One more section to go, and then we're done with vector-valued functions.